What is good, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of The Producer's Life. I'm your man, Big Boy Tracks, and today we're doing some Silk Sonic. I'm gonna try to make this thing super soulful and super retro sounding and really give it that vibe. I'm gonna try to use a lot of elements from the 70s soul sound, even the 60s, you know, a lot of the elements are pretty similar, and, and I hope y'all enjoy this. This should be a fun one, so I want y'all to sit back and relax. Let's jump right into it. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with the piano. As far as the drums, I'm using Abbey Rhodes in contact. It emulates the sound of the 60s, and you know, they got the 70s uh, drum kit also, but I'm gonna be using the 60s for this. And I got the BPM set at 65. Let me fix that part real quick. Yeah, it's, it's coming in a little bit it's too soon, too soon than I want it to do. So next for this soul beat, I'm about to add in the bell. Similar to, you know, the Jackson 5, Never Can Say Goodbye, or even Silk Sonic's um, Lead the Door Open, they both utilize the bell. And so I picked out a bell that I can find as close as possible to the same bells that they use in those tracks. So let's go ahead and record this bell in there real quick. Hey, this sounded nice, man. Let me fix that part right there. I don't now. I don't want everything quantized. I want. I want everything to kind of be more humanized, uh, especially with the old school songs. Everything they did was like live. So I want to make it as human sounding as possible. So there's gonna be. I wanted to eat where, where where certain sounds the velocity is not hitting on each instrument and stuff like that. I kind of wanted to be more uh, realistic with the like humanized. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and throw the bass line in there real quick because I'm getting the vibes and I want to get this bass line out real fast. Bro, this is so soulful. Now I feel like a trumpet is crucial for this type of soul beat. You know, you hear him in so many of those 70 soul beats and um, even in the Silk Sonic track. So I'm gonna try to play it as soft as possible as a tension buildup. And then at the end of it, I want it to really hit, you know, with the velocity. So I'm about to share what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and record this brass in there real quick. I just wanted something real basic, but just impactful, you know what I mean? Now 
Now you notice how it's like a soft build up uh, with the velocity and then it really hits. Listen to it. How I hit the notes. Here it just, it's like a build up with it. And that's what I kind of want that, that like tension for it. So next we're adding in a staccato string. So let's go ahead and add this string in there. Now I'm not sure if y'all can hear it. I got it. I kind of got it turned down because I don't want it too much in the forefront. It's just a repeating pattern. That's simply what it is. And then it stops once the horn comes in. Then it plays again. It's real, it's that simple. But what I'm about to do is real quick because the second half is kind of jacked up. I'm gonna just copy and paste this half on there because it's like I said, it's doing the same thing over and over again. Now let's go ahead and add in a lead string. Now this string, I might pan this string to the left or right because I don't want it directly in the center with all the other instruments. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, I got it all the way panned to the right, like I said, because I don't want it dead in the center with the rest of the instruments. Um, sometimes you can have too many instruments, and I feel like you can like clash, sounds will clash with each other, and I definitely don't want that for this beat. Like I said, I want this uh, to be able to breathe because, you know, with singers, the singers got to be able to have, have headroom, you know, when they sing it, so that's why. So next I'm about to go ahead and find a nice drum fill for this beat. I want some variation, I want some transitions in there. So in contact, there's so many different types of drum fills you can find. I like that one, I'm gonna just go ahead and go with that one right there. And then you just go up here and you just drag it. And I'm gonna have it right here because I'm about to have a switch up come in too. So let's hear how that sounds. So without a doubt, we definitely need a switch up, uh, like a bridge, just some variation for this beat. So I'm gonna go ahead and start out with the piano and then I'm gonna go ahead and add in the rest of the instruments. Like I said, I want some variation. I don't want it to, I don't want this just to be constantly repeating. I want some switch ups in there. I want some change in there. So let's go ahead and record that second half in there real quick. So y'all might notice I added in the crash. I literally forgot about the cymbal. So I added it in there, but let's go ahead and record this in there. Just something real basic like that.
We're gonna go ahead and put some in there like that for the uh for the bells. Something like that. Let me fix that real quick. That was bad at the end. <laughs> Definitely hit the wrong note. I wanted I didn't want the the uh the brass so you know, so hard on this this bridge part, I kind of wanted it real subtle and real soft sounding. So that's why I'm playing it real soft. Let me move these over real quick. All right, so y'all, we at the midpoint of this beat. It's time to go ahead and get this track arranged. I already got the drums tracked out. Also in the process, y'all may hear an extra little melody sound in the background. I decided to record some vocals. Now understand, I can't sing at all. I just did like a little, little. I added like these little vocals in the background. I, I thought it would sound dope. It would probably sound 80 times better if I actually get a professional singer on there. But I wanted to add like these little background vocals in there. So y'all probably hear it. I'm gonna have it extremely low because I don't want it too far in the forefront. I know the notes are not on point, but I think I got it enough to where it sounds good in there. So let's go ahead and get this track arranged so y'all can hear what the possible finished track gonna sound like. Let's go. All right, y'all, so that wraps up the beat making video. I really hope y'all enjoyed that because I definitely had fun making this beat. But I think overall, this track came out super, super solid, man, and super soulful. Man, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. Um, if y'all enjoyed this beat making video, go ahead, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and do all that good stuff. If you have not subscribed, I'm telling you, go ahead and subscribe because I'm dropping bangers after bangers this year for 2022, man. We're going up all this year. But I want to thank everybody for watching and kicking it with your man, Big Boy Tracks, right here at the Producers Life. And I'll see y'all next time, man. Peace.